as an as an insider, when you have when you if, when you assess the the kind of the method by which uh, the direct primary method was ultimately adopted, uh, would you say that uh, uh, the the national chairman of the party, Comrade Adams Oshomale, uh, was able to e e consult enough and consult effectively enough uh, to ensure that he got enough buy-in before the neck? from, say, the state chapters of the party, for example? I believe he consulted widely, he consulted adequately. But like, I, like, 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 like I'm trying to tell you, and I'm, but I'm also being very careful here, it is that those who are not so sure, when the issue came, came up again that, okay, we are going for direct primaries, those who are not so sure that they have majority of party members behind them in their state, are those who are uh, bringing up this uh, rare, rare guard action against uh, the National Party chairman? Because as far as, as far as the party is concerned, it is a long time, there has been a long time, I know this for sure, that the party has been trying to move in the direction of the red primary. Every time we want to do it, one thing or the other will always come. But this time around, a decision was taken, all right, let us take the blue bed and go there. It was test run in Osho, uh, Osho State. And we found out that it was successful. It could be done. All the fear that people were having was not, uh, did not materialize in Osho State. And therefore, if we could do it there, why can't we then not do it on a on broad basis? It is possible that this, uh, w when the, the scheme is now going national, it is possible that, okay, some concession will be given here and there in a few places because of logistic reasons that, okay, go for indirect, but, okay, in other places, go for direct. But majority, a majority situation, will go for direct primary. But even in a direct primary uh, kind of format, what would you say to the concerns of those who say, look, if you look back uh, at, at the congresses that were conducted over the previous, uh, from the, uh, under the previous leadership, of the uh, John Oyegun led NWC, yes. there was a lot of controversy about the, the, the con Congress uh, conduct committees that went to the various states and about them you know, skewing the Congresses in favor of certain factions, etc. In view of a direct <laughs> primary ahead of time, yes. what would you say to those that are concerned that they would see the same thing, that the national leadership would send uh, conduct committees of these uh, primaries that may influence the result? I can answer that question for you. It is very simple. The main driver of controversy in Congress is, is that if you didn't elect me, I will not be there as a delegate to lead to harvest when the time comes. That is the main driver of all the controversies you are seeing. It is the economic situation that people are looking at, the money they are going to make. What, what we need are people who are genuinely committed to the party who are ready to serve, not those who are seeking opportunity to make quick money during primaries and during elections. But the validity of delegates, the way we have it now, under the president mindset, exists only for the purpose of electing candidates, and that is where they make money. And that is what the party wants to get out of. Let everybody decide. If you do that, at the end of the day, it is very clear that those who are vying for party office will be, not, will be doing so now to serve, not because they want to make money at primaries. Mm. So, excuse me, you say that this will be resolved, uh, you know, in, oh, sure. in no time. Uh, but then we're wondering, is it really feasible when you talk about all the elective positions? Is it because oftentimes when people are looking at the delegate system, they're looking at uh, the big positions, they're looking at the primaries for governors and things of the sort. But is it really feasible to do direct primaries for all elective positions? Like I said, first round, it may not be feasible. Compromises we have to, might have to be reached in the first round, what I'm saying that that is the ultimate direction the party will go. And everybody had better prepare their mind for it. It may be difficult in the first round, but it's going to happen anyway. What do you mean like first round? What do you mean by first round? No, this one, this for oh, me. Oh, but the, the very first time yeah, you're doing is, this it. this is the pioneer stage now. Yeah. That we are trying uh, this scheme. It's not the usual scheme in Nigeria. But at this pioneering stage, we are going to have difficulties, and therefore compromises. We have to be, uh, we have to be agreed upon. But at the end of the day, this is the direction the party will go. What wrote. results, well, apart from the fact that popular candidates will emerge, what effect do you think it will have in future for the congresses that part, your party might conduct? It will be less, uh, it, 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 it will be less furious, there will be less crisis, there will be less uh, acrimony, uh, because people now know that it is those who want to genuinely serve the party that people are going to uh, elect into office. And nobody is going there 
with a view to say if I become, for example, the state party secretary, uh, when the, uh, the aspirants begin to move around, I'm going to make my millions. It's not going to be that again. So we are, we are moving from, from, from economic rent seeking to good service to the party. Mm. That is the, going is, to be it, the difference. How expensive is it going to be for your party to conduct the primaries? You don't think it's going to, it might, you know, involve a lot more money? Uh, it will involve a lot more money on the part of the party mm -hmm. than on the part of the aspirant. But I want to also answer the guest there. I, 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 this is not an official issue, but let me just answer the guest. If you notice, the one who paid to be governorship candidate before was $5 million. Now they are talking of $20 million. I think they are anticipating also the cost and what is going to be involved. And now they are going to manage it. Haven't they and by also, that? And also, and also, and also, and yeah. also, there is a move, the party registration uh, that is ongoing, is a move to ensure that every member of the party begins to make a contribution to the party every month. Because the, 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 the calculation is very simple. If you have 60 million voters and all together, for example, and if you can register as members of your own party, 40 million people, I would you already almost won the election. Let, let me ask you very quickly, when you look at the direct primary, yes. uh, if you look at some of the trends that we've seen in our recent political history, uh, where you, know, you have this blurred line between the governing party and, and opposition, depending on what political scenario comes up, could there be any concern that you may have uh, a, a kind of uh, an interloping scenario where members mm -hmm, of the opposition mm -hmm, come mm -hmm. in to influence the vote of an APC ticket, for example, in a primary, because maybe they're all within an APC district. What are your thoughts about that? Now, I agree with your scenario, but it's also why it is important for members to be attending ward meetings, local government meetings, when they are called. Because at the end of the day, if the, the chairman, the ward chairman of the party, will be there to identify and say, this one is my member, this one is not my member. So invasion, interloping invasion, the kind of scenario you have painted, it is possible, but there are means to check me that, to ensure that it does not become the dominant uh, factor. Mm. 20 million naira is definitely a lot for governors to be paying for the nomination from them. So that will come up another day in terms of cost of elections. Oh, we have to thank you for coming on Sunrise Daily. Mr. Thank ben Oguntuashe is a member of the APC.